YouTube or TikTok, whether you're watching the clips or the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe or follow. It uh, helps me out a lot and it helps you guys uh, stay updated and up to uh, in the loop and up to date on everything that's going on on my channel. What we're doing, um, we are in a week two on the um, the TSL uh, Regs franchise. Uh, we're dedicating the a whole new dedicating a lot more time to individual franchises rather than cramming a bunch together and doing these all day streams. That way, uh, hopefully, these are a little bit more high quality videos and streams for you guys, uh, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube, and it helps you guys. Um, get more invested in these and understand more about what's going on. Um, we just got to set up our game with our opponent, and we can start. about a search. All right. All right. Just going to do one quick thing while we get set up. So I didn't, um, two things I didn't do that might come back to bite me, but I can, I can look at it when I pause it. Um, I did not do my uh, coach goals, and I think I had some player upgrades to do after that practice. Is this what we did last time? Interesting. I guess I'll keep it for Casey, but I really should run Las Vegas. Because that's the kind of, uh... <laughs> eh, maybe I should have did Casey, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, they both have a lot of plays I like to use, Las Vegas and Casey. But we're definitely going to use Casey defense. Why? Because we're going to run 3-4 and 4-3. Um, we're going to switch it up on our opponent. Uh, as well as a couple different light packages, like Big Nickel and Nickel. Um... But yeah. We get ball at half. Let's fucking go. What? How did nobody... You guys can't see it. Sorry about that. We need a big stop here. That was this defense for the Browns terrific last week in the season opening victory. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. Burrow on play action. It's complete. Pick that off. What are you doing just sitting there? It's also not the fucking pay. That's not the play I picked. Play to move the sticks. 11, 11, 11, 11. Now it's Burrow. Swings this out for Hunt. Oh my goodness, we're in the cloud flats, but nobody's playing the flats. We are in terrible field position too, but first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. That's Smart too bad. Here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now. Handoff up the middle. Hunt. You're kidding me, dude. 
What the fuck is that other linebacker doing? I know I pinched him. I, I fucking pulled him back. But come on. Come on. What are you doing? Fucking selling the game, man. I mean, it was bad enough we had that shitty kick return. But oh my goodness. Okay. We got seven coming back the other way. It's ain't a problem. That just, that was... That was not the opening drive we wanted on defense at all. Probably should have taken it, but we'll see. Yeah, we're only at 20. I mean, it's a five yard difference, but it's fine. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. What? How? It's like a 90 overall fucking center. How does he just fucking break that? Here's Watson now on second down. Pass complete to fucking nuts. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Watson. Of course he sent six. We couldn't break the man coverage early enough. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be one of these games. We're gonna we're gonna need to play some man. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division, like what? That's a pick every fucking time. You're kidding me? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it was a little high, but that that should have been a fucking pick. Situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break. If this were, let's say, week 15, 16, got two dudes on him, but nobody's gonna cover that corner. No one. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Hunt will try going up the middle. Yeah, it's two yards. Two yards we shouldn't have gave up. But that's better than, uh... Better than that... Better than a lot of ways it could have been. And I would believe that they would need to take advantage of that partner because as you can imagine, the road dates will pile up later this season. So this is a great opportunity for them to put some... Thank you. That's a pick six. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Down the left sideline. There we go. Please tell me that's Newsom too. He's having a breakout game. Was it Newsom? Oh, it needs to be Newsom. It probably wasn't. It was probably uh what's his face? But Newsom's about to be except I get him a breakout game. Oh man. That's the stop we needed on defense right there. It's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. He don't like man coverage. We're going to have to throw some cover four at him and some man. And we're going to have to throw it in that corner and, and be a little tighter on that that side of the field because he wants to run it out. And we can, we will let him run it out every time if he wants to do that. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. What? What? What kind of fucking cheese is that? I'm not gonna fuck with the formation this time. I fucked up. 
Yeah, it was Ward. It wasn't uh, it wasn't Newsom. That's not what I picked. They'll give the hunt here on the option. <laughs> be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. 11 minus, 11 minus. Now it's Burrow. Get underneath the Newsom. That was a pick for you. That would have been your breakout pick, but no. You don't want to play fucking football. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. This is caught. Touchdown. Oh my goodness. You get a pick six and then you just go cold. You just don't do shit after that. Okay. Okay. Should have ran some cover for you there. I mean, he was in a three tight end set. I couldn't just go cover four. I really needed to. I mean, I didn't need to, but he's been getting yards. I need to load the box just a little bit. And my fucking my my seven fronts getting walked over. Nah, we're not doing scum kicks. The Browns drive about to get started. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out and works. Yeah, he, he fought. He so fought. Get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. That was an inch. I'm going to give him that same formation. If he lines up in that formation. We, we might run it and we might stay with that pass. Second quarter, it's the Browns in control of the football. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. <laughs> They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. Yeah, Chubbs. We gotta, we gotta, we got to hand it off to Chubbs a little bit more. Cause uh, Chubb, Chubb is uh not a chump. Chubb is no joke. Okay. Probably should have tried to wait for something else to develop, but. Yeah, I should have. I should have took it and ran. It's either it's either making it or it's not going anywhere. Ooh, so close. You have to punt it though. It was it was it was close. Oh. Here's Corey Bohorquez now. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this will depend yeah, we'll take that. as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10 yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot. What the fuck are my deep... What am I doing? What are they doing deep? You got two dudes down there, you got somebody coming in, and you, you don't want to play your... Okay. Pick that off, you fuck. You, why you put one hand up? You put two hands up and it's a pick.
Burrow once again here on second and ten. And that's caught inside the too deep, five. too deep, and you're not getting a corner out. Why? 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 No, nah, we're not giving up easy yards. And he'll go down at the 28. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down at just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. What are you doing? There's a dude sitting there underneath just doing nothing. 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 Fucking dog shit defense. Oh my goodness. Can't play man. We can't play fucking zone. What can we play? What can we play? Like, we can get a touchdown here and we can get 14 21 and a half to get the ball back, but why? It shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. We shouldn't be playing catch up. Why? Oh my fuck. We we do need to hand the ball off more, but oh my fuck! We get a touchdown here quick. We can we can bait him into doing some silly stuff. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Had it Might twice, be what we're about to do, though. Twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it. Every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down. How big that is in this situation. They got to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our moment? Of course, it's a two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They give the chub out of the gun. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. That was that was fucking cheese. He had him blocked and then he didn't block him. Yeah, I made a bad read. I made a super bad read. Oh my goodness, I should have threw it to the uh the inside seam, not the outside. There we go. Finally, you do something. Oh my fuck, dude. These deep safeties all game haven't been doing shit. There we go. Drive about to get started. 
They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalpost here. First and ten. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. Here's Watson. Bro, what the fuck? You were supposed to cut in, you piece of shit. Oh my goodness. My team is throwing. What is that, dude? He was wide open. Oh my, fuck you, Watson. Fuck you, Deshaun Watson. Oh my goodness, that was wide open. And it would have been a touchdown because they had nobody deep. They had nobody deep. That was a touchdown. Nobody deep. Mm. Absolutely ridiculous. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And now Bell going to be intercepted yet again. There we go. We can get him field goal range to get this get get ten here. After the interception, here's Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and three. Bro, guard your fucking man. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's really not. Here remain in the half on is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. There we go. York able to send this one through. <sighs> Eleven point game. Should be a three point game. Four point game really. We gotta get Chubb some more uh, some more yards because this is ridiculous. Got to shut down the short pass so he's not set up for the long Welcome pass. But he he got like two long passes that are just ridiculous, fucking Davis, ridiculous. We got to throw some more cover for Adam. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. Ah, uh, could have been better. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Watson, off play action. There we go. Keep doing cover four. Keep running the same fucking play, dude. I, I fucking dare you, dude. Keep doing the same fucking play. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's fucking smart. Ooh. 
Watson now to throw. Watson's got to get rid of it a little, a little quicker. Oh, that could have been. That could have been. There we go, Chubb. Keeps running cover four. All he's running. All he's running is cover four. That's fine. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Bro, what kind of fucking juke move is that? That was ass. There we go. There we fucking go. Oh my goodness. Threaded the fucking needle there. Oh, if we don't get one of these, I swear. Bro, what the fuck is this? Bro, what are we doing? I have a 90 overall offensive line and we can't beat a 4-3 a front? He's not even in a goal line formation, we can't beat that? That's nuts. That's fucking nuts. Eight point game. Do we go for it when we get the next touchdown? Maybe, maybe not. But we got to keep Cincinnati shut out. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three. 16. Now, one thing that we have not done is thrown heat at them. The Bengals drive about to get going. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Bro, what? 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 That is literally a seven front. I have seven in front. Oh my fuck. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. I don't know why it goes away when I do that. He's going to stay in cover four, so we're just going to expose him. If he's going to stay in cover four the whole fucking game. Ooh, if he didn't step out, that could have been a touchdown. Mm. 
They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Watson, you you piece of shit, dude. You are so lucky that that was not an interception. Oh my fuck. Could have been better. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Oh my goodness! If, if he would have got that runoff, if he would have had him tripped up on that runoff, that would have. That could have been fucking money. Back to throw, Watson. Oh my fuck, you're kidding me. We just keep choking in the end zone. Yeah, but maybe one more second or if he would have just got off on that corner, that would have been money. Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible. <sighs> and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled. He doesn't like man coverage, but we've got to run some cover four eventually. He's really just targeting the edges. We're throwing it to us halfback, so we got to stay a man. But oh my fuck, dude. 28. I cannot believe he has 28 points. Two of those touchdowns. It's just our defense fucking throwing. Yeah, that, that should have been a sack, but we didn't, didn't quite get there in time. Bro, Kareem Hunt's like a 78. Why is he not going down? Oh my fuck. This offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Now they go play action now. Burrow. What the fuck? Get underneath that, Emerson. That's a pick every time if you just get underneath it. You piece of shit. Oh my goodness. I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air. Even on first and second downs. And they obviously the What are you doing that far back? There's nobody in the end zone. What are you doing back there? That's game. My uh, my secondary did not come to play. My defense just didn't come to play. I don't I don't know if my offense did. They did okay. They they we choked every time in the end zone, but uh, my defense didn't do shit all game. We got one pick six and then couldn't get a stop. We let them run like two fucking two fucking touchdowns on us back to back. Oh my goodness. 
Best thing we get here is two touchdowns back to back, and then we're still down by a whole possession. Ridiculous. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three score game. How is that a hit stick? He barely touched him. And my offensive line did dog shit. This whole game, we haven't been able to fucking block. Right there, missed the block. You hit that block and we're, we're in the end zone, but nope. That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throw it, dude. You throw it. That's a touchdown. He was wide open on that route. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Watson. Again. You just, all you gotta do is throw it. I know he's blitzing. Just fucking throw it, dude. You fucking, mmm. You piece of fucking shit, dude. Just throw the ball. Of course, we have to go for it because we're down by so much, but... certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. And he is caught, and he's going to pick up the Browns first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving, and then so. Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. Here we go, finally. Twenty-four and it's still eleven. It's Twelve. To a two-score game here in the fourth. Watson and that Browns offense going to stay out there, and they'll go for two. And that's caught at the two, and he'll get in for the two points. As that'll cut the lead down from eleven to nine. Of course, we got to do this. Two scores down. Three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. Good hit stick. No fumble. They felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score... Oh, that was, that was close. He was about to get a good corner out there. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. On second down, Burrow. Burrow got hit just as he threw it, but it doesn't matter because he got it off. Mountain swing, yep. Oh, we might need a man up here in the uh, can't man up because we don't have cover two man. There we go. Thank you. 
still not winning the game, but we can close we can close the gap just a little bit. He's about to send. He's about to send everybody. Bro, that is P.I. out the ass. Bro. That is P.I. out the ass. He is almost 15 yards downfield. Oh my fuck. 15 yards downfield getting pressed. And they're the ones that are doing all the leading, aren't they? Right? The three interceptions last week, that led to a victory. Three interceptions so far in this game, that has the... Bro, I've never seen more blatant P.I. Oh, my fuck. The game was over, but my goodness. Oh my goodness. At the same time, I've never seen more blatant PI in my fucking life, dude. That would have been a touchdown too. No flag and it, it goes the other way. This just wasn't our game. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone. That's just fucking nuts. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to. Now, loose what? He barely touched me. How the fuck is that a hit stick? How the fuck did he even touch me if he's trying to hit stick? You should have fell the fuck over. Yeah. This cornerback should have fucking missed that. This cup practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game not going to help him improve. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. He's going to dump this off to his running back. Kareem Hunt's like a 78 overall. He's playing like a 90 overall. I've got like a 99 overall halfback that can't can't produce because my line doesn't want to pick up his defense. I guess. To use here in the final stages. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Good sack. There we go. For a timeout, so they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Now, this one from about two counties over after the sack, they come up on a second and very long. Here's Burrow. It's caught at the 10. Oh, he does. He does get it. Okay. With three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. Here we go. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. I about to say, it just fucking off by by an inch to be underneath and pick it. But that that oh my goodness, I don't think we've oh that's the worst game we played in a long time. That was a terrible game, 24-42. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Props to you though, Bengals. That just we got fucked over and over. I mean that that first. 
That first touchdown to start the game off on a kick return was nuts. But 100 yards difference, I mean, that's just it was it, what it was. So for the Bengals... They used a favorable early schedule to their advantage. Yeah, they beat us. They beat us in every metric possible. Next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they'll fall to one and one, and they'll look to regroup. Oh, and it did it again. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a uh, that was a very bittersweet game. That that game was. Uh, no, fuck that game. Somehow we're we're above the we're above the Bengals somehow in standings, even though we lost to them. So that'll be interesting. We play them again later on in the season. I think in a few games actually, but that yeah, that's definitely interesting. I've got to get some uh, some more muscle here. Hold up, Mauler. There we go. Maybe my offensive line won't get fucking beat around so much. I mean, I gotta show you guys. Like, it just, there is no excuse. I gotta show you. I probably should have got a little more creative with my run plays, but, I mean, it's like nobody's below, like, an 82. So, yeah, 89, 91, 88. And then, of course, our, our guards are a little bit on the, you know, so we, we probably should have ran it outside a little more uh, with our tackles being how they were. But, uh,. And we did. Uh, there, there was that point when we were in the goal, like on goal line, I think right before the half or something. Uh, and we kept running a stretch RPO to, to pass over the middle or stretch it. And they just kept blowing up right there in between uh, Betonio and Williams. And uh, whoever, probably probably was him. He would, probably would have been the first tight end in, in the line. And they just kept blowing that up right there. And they, they couldn't hold the block for even a second. And Chubb had no time to get there. Um... So we have to figure something out here. These both of these guards have like a 70 speed. So that power play, we produce like three yards out of our power play. We hardly produce anything out of our power plays. We didn't run any traps. We probably should have ran some trap plays. Um, but yeah, that probably should have ran some inside zones. But I, mean, I don't know if that would have worked at all. I think we ran two inside zones, and they were they didn't they didn't really hardly produce. I think one of them did, and one of them didn't. So we probably should have ran some more inside zones. But yeah, that we we did terrible. Producing on offense. Terrible. Our, our receiving core and everything, that was fine. Watson threw a couple iffy passes there at the end and halfway through a bit. Defense. I, I I don't know what was going on on defense. Uh, we just, we were, we were getting... D. Ward made one play and then Newsom. That was supposed to be your development game. You were supposed to get XF and you just decided not to show up. I, I even gave you man coverages. I gave you hidden zones. Like... Yeah, what, what, what did we learn from the previous game? You know, Coach, football is simpler than people think. It's about one-on-one -on -one matchups. A better man always wins. I don't think there's anyone better than me. Oh, okay, he did He did get his dev trait. Okay, so he got his dev trait. Okay, so he did get it, thankfully. I think he got a couple tackle for losses in there. Um, does it automatically assign? Okay, it does. Yeah, we gotta level up your man-to-man -man just a little bit so we can run some more man. Man coverage, let's go. What is our man? We got yes, 90 man. Let's go. Can we, can we, yep, shut down. Touch shade deep row. Awesome, 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 let's go. So we just gotta get our uh, our secondary because we play a lot of nickel. We gotta get Thornhill up there. But we are we are looking a lot better now. Um, we gotta do something with our, our inside core, though, that seven front. These... These three to four up front linemen, and then the three to four linebackers that we have up front, because we do three four and four three. Got to figure something out with you guys, because you guys were not uh, holding the run game at all, at all. Didn't didn't stop hardly, but like what two three runs out of, and he got like almost a, I don't know, he he got way more rushing yards than he should have. I think he got like over 100 rushing yards. Um, yeah, it's too inconsistent in our stops. Our safeties are. Our safeties are, are butt cheeks. Our safeties don't want to uh, use their heads at all. So there's that. It's really down to our corners right now. And our, our seven front is in and out. They have high hit power, but we didn't really get a lot of hit sticks that game. We were too worried on him cutting us. But yeah, um, that's just the, the post-game breakdown. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I hope you guys... See, can we get more speed? Probably shouldn't, but... 
we do, that's nuts. Zone, man, change of direction, tackle. Okay, because we already have, what, 89 speed on him? Zone, man, yeah, he's, 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 Owosu, whatever his name, he's, he's, he's a really good linebacker in the backfield, so he, I don't know, I don't know what was happening, but it wasn't, wasn't enough, unfortunately, we gotta get the block shedding up, that's really probably what I should have bought, but, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, it was definitely a, a, uh, much more contested game in the beginning, even though we ended the half, but 10 to 21 at the end there, though, 42, 24, that was, now nah, that was atrocious, we should never end a game with this team, with a team like this, we should never end a game like that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream here, guys, I hope to see you guys next week, you guys take it easy.